I've seen me a pretty face Most of them don't go no place But that smile of yours got a set of legs Let's talk tickets to a private beach A lagoon that's just out the reach, yeah So on the butt and my DSL Well, we're just leaving Keppel Bay Marina in what the weather forecast will call variable winds and we're only heading over there to Keppel Island and our anchor there tonight somewhere down the bottom end there and then tomorrow we start the, the bigger legs down the coast because we've got this wonderful northerly wind and we've got to head about southeast or south southeast in direction to make it down the coast so these northerly winds are just um, fantastic they're just a blessing so, but there's two long days, it's I think 60 and 65 miles each leg and um, should be plenty of wind though, so yeah, should all be good, should be a fun sail. So, see you on the way. Well, the wind's just died, it's been um, southwesterly. It's meant to turn northerly now, and after that it's meant to um, stay northerly. And right now I'm just being inundated with butterflies and small flies. They're just everywhere. The whole sail is full. The whole package of the sail is full of small flies. And then there's these beautiful butterflies, at least three or four different species. It's quite bizarre. And the mast top in the back stay is full of them, especially the mast top. I'm trying to fly with my nose. Anyway, so that's what's happening here. Hopefully the northerly will kick in soon and all we're going to do is go up over there into the anchorage and um, get a good night's rest for tomorrow. And they're here, the northerlies have arrived. Man, there is a lot of boats in here. It's a big bay, but it's also super busy. There must be 40 boats or something. I haven't counted. But there's a crazy amount. This is with Sunday busy. So these are all cruisers that are heading south and we're getting some good northerlies predicted next couple of days and some big longer legs. So they're sort of all collecting in the only good anchorages and probably all bail tomorrow and set out to do these bigger legs, probably see most of them again in one of the further anchorages. I'm going to turn in soon because I'll have a really early start as well because I've got a 65 mile sail ahead.
I miss Dominica asking, what's up Skipper Ben, what are we doing? But um, I'll tell you anyway, shame she can't be here today. So got up, at, well left the anchorage at 4 this morning, um, early start, it's now 8.30, so four and a half hours. All we've done is 13 miles, um, which required setting mainsail, setting spinnaker, taking spinnaker down, and piss farting around with the asymmetrical spinnaker until that was finally flying. So that's up and good to go now, and if all goes well, that should probably be my sails for most of the way down, but the wind is not as predicted. Um, so yeah, we just got to sit here and wait for it to build and pick up a bit. Speaking of which, we just picked up from two and a half knots to almost four knots, so that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, under asymmetrical spinnaker now. And she just sails beautifully. I've also set up that um, tiller pilot to wind vane steering. And that's working really well. The tiller pilot is hardly doing any work. It will wing track so well. So very efficient um, and very good for these fickle conditions or if it builds up that the the um, spinnakers etc. puts a lot of pressure on the tiller. So I've just pulled out the asymmetrical spinnaker because the wind was so fickle. Actually, I ended up motoring for two hours until I got totally sick of it. Um, but now, yeah, the spinnaker is pulled out. Feels like um, <laughs> feels like a really weird thing to do, but it's working. It's giving me speed. I'm back up at five and a half knots and hitting the six occasionally. And hopefully, finally now this afternoon, this breeze will build. There's a lot of things I still need to approve with the asymmetrical spinnaker but right now it's pulling us through the water at seven knots and the boat is really well balanced so it's just wonderful just rumbling through the water again gonna sit here for a bit and enjoy it Sailing through a paddock of ships. Quite amazing looking.
Well, it's looking a bit grey. Some thunder as well. And it seems to be getting closer from behind. So it's moving in on us and it's hanging all on the coast there. But we've got another two hours. So I don't know if we're going to beat it. We have to be lucky. Well, I've decided not to focus on the lightning and the thunder and the grey clouds. But instead, I'm focusing on these wonderful hues of blue up ahead. And these fluffy little clouds in there. Beautiful and spectacular. full-on vicious looking cloud moving in so I put a reef into the main and the wind has dropped a bit so I'm on the motor as well just to give speed up to try to make the wind and it'd be awesome before the rain comes um, at least before it's dark so I'll probably reduce the ranking now as well to stay in the stasel and just chuff in there we just got to go up there it's, it's an hour an hour an hour at um, five and a half knots So we're half an hour out, getting a tiny bit of wind again, which is helping us along. But I'm not really game to roll out the whole Yankee. Because I'll be motoring anyway, because I want to get in there as quick as possible before it's dark. And find a spot. Magically, the storms are just really moving past me, and even the sun's coming out. I think I was just born lucky. Let's count my blessings too soon, I'm still going to make it in there. Well, today I got greedy. I tried to make good time to get in here because it was a 65 mile sail with really poor wind in the morning and stuff and so I tried to make up time and I ended up leaving the spinnaker up too long. I used the asymmetric and because the wind then turned onto the back, right from the back I pulled it out and we were doing seven and eight and a half knots with a bit of tide and just ripping along. It was just magnificent, constant hull speed. And um, so it just, it was too difficult to take it down basically. So, but I paid for it because um, essentially I just ran out of a crew member. None of the self steering would steer the boat without wind, without spinnaker when it sort of became overloaded and overpowered. So I managed to twist it and all sorts of things. And so this is what it looks like now it's just a pile of spinnaker all twisted up. And um, yeah, I have to try to somehow sort it out because I want to use it again tomorrow. And hopefully we'll have better winds tomorrow, so that's my job for tonight. Um, and then straight to bed.